Hello, welcome back to Guided Reading with Miss Oliver. Super excited to have you here as always, and I can't wait to get started on our lesson. But before we do, let's make sure we have a few things in place. The first thing we're going to do is take out the two worksheets that we're going to work with for this lesson. The first one is titled Opposites. You should see a giraffe and a little dog at the top, along with some other pictures throughout the worksheet. The second worksheet is titled Matching Opposites. You should see the sky, a pillow, you should see a couple of pictures throughout the worksheet. Next, we're going to take out the book Who Stole the North Pole? You're going to need a pencil to write with. And most importantly, you want to make sure you're in a quiet and calm space so you can focus and grow your brain. If you need to pause the video right here to get all your things together, please do so. If not, we can go ahead and move on. So what exactly are we going to do in this video? The first thing we're going to do is review our same 10 sight words that we talked about in our last two videos. We're going to jump into our new lesson on opposite adjectives. And then we're going to end it with our book, Who Stole the North Pole? Jumping right into our sight word review, repeating after Miss Oliver. Man, for, have, that, but, yes, able, going, with, don't. One more time from the top. Man, for, have, that, but, yes, able, going, with don't. Now you're going to pause the video right here and you're going to go through those 10 sight words on your own. Pause. Bringing it back in five, four, three, two, and one. So how did you do? Good job. Two thumbs up. So getting right into our lesson. In our last two videos, we talked about adjectives. We said that adjectives were what? That's right. They're words that describe how something looks and what it feels like to touch, taste, or smell. Some examples of adjectives are how something looks, whether it's pretty or it's young or it's old. The color, red, blue, green, orange. How something feels, if it's hot. If it's sticky, the size, whether it's small, it's long, tall, thin, all of these are adjectives. They describe how something looks, tastes, touch. Now we're going to talk about opposite adjectives. The word opposite means things that are completely different from each other. So let me hear you say opposite. Opposite things are completely different from each other. Let's look at some examples of opposite adjectives. High and low. So the opposite of high is low. The opposite of dry is wet. The opposite of open is, that's right, closed. The opposite of front is, that's right, you guessed it, back. The opposite of old is new. The opposite of in is out. The opposite of long is short. The opposite of up is what? Down. Awesome job. The opposite of full is empty. The opposite of light is dark. And our last one, the opposite of big is small. Awesome job. So these are opposite. Opposites are things that are completely different from one another. So like I said, big 
is the opposite of, I'm sorry, small is the opposite of big. Mm. Let's jump right into our worksheet so we can get some more practice on it. So this is where you're going to take out your two worksheets and your pencil to write with. I'll give you five seconds to do so. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. So after we write our name at the top of our first worksheet that's titled Opposite, we can jump right into it. So the first worksheet is titled Opposite. The direction says trace the word, match the opposite. So Miss Oliver is going to do the first one for you. So this one says tall, tall like a giraffe. So I'm going to think, hmm, what's the opposite of tall? And I'm going to look on this side. Is the opposite of tall small? Mm, nope. What about cold? Is the opposite of tall cold? No. What about slow? Is the opposite of tall slow? Mm, I don't think that's right. What about short? Is the opposite of tall short? That's right. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw a line from this to this and then I'm going to trace my word. I'm going to trace the word tall and I'm going to trace the word short. You're going to do this for each picture and when you finish everything should have a match. After you complete this worksheet you're going to move on to the second one that is titled matching opposites. The directions for this worksheet says draw a line to match each picture with its opposite. So just like we did on this worksheet, we're going to do the same thing. Miss Oliver is going to do the first one. So this first word is day. I'm going to think, hmm, what is the opposite of daytime? Think, think, think. <gasps> That's right. The opposite of daytime is nighttime. So I'm going to find the word night. Here it is right here. I'm going to draw my line from day to night. And I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of my pictures. You have about eight minutes to complete this worksheet. So go ahead and pause your video right here so you can get started. Bringing it back in five, four, three, two, and one. So now you can go ahead and push your worksheet and your pencil to the side and we can bring out our book, Who Stole the North Pole? While you're getting your book out, Mrs. Oliver is going to do the same thing. Oops. Mrs. Oliver is going to get her book out as well. Okie dokie. So today we're going to read the book, Who Stole the North Pole? The author of this book is Anthony Coran and it's illustrated by... Colleen Madden. We know the author writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. So before we jump into reading our book, we want to try to predict what this story is going to be about or guess what this story is going to be about by looking at the cover of the book and by reading the title. So I'm going to give you 30 silent seconds to pause your video right here and to look at the cover of the book, read the title, and try to predict or guess what you think this story is going to be about. So pause, bringing it back in five, four, three, two, and one. So now that you had a chance to think about our question, what do you predict or what do you guess this story is going to be about by looking at the cover of our book and reading the title? Hmm, that's an excellent guess. You said you think this story is going to be about someone came along and stole the North Pole. That's an excellent guess. Kiss your brain. Mm -mm. So that is an excellent guess. So now since we made our predictions on what this book could be about, we're going to read our book. We're going to go over our words to know before reading. So repeating after Miss Oliver, Candy Cane, North Pole, Polar bear, reindeer, Santa, take it. One more time from the top, candy cane, North Pole, polar bear, reindeer, Santa, and taken. So these are the words to know before reading the book, Who Stole the North Pole? So this seems like a Christmas book to me, if you ask me. 
So now since we went over our words to know, we made our predictions on what we think this story could possibly be about, now you're going to have a chance to read the book on your own. When we come together in our next video, we're going to read it together and then we're going to answer some questions about what we read. So right now we're going to end our video, but you're going to start reading the book, Who Stole the North Pole? So I will see you next time and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!